Hello everyone, it's Brother Paul here. Um, <clears throat> gonna try to catch up on a lot of dreams that I haven't gotten around to. So I got one here that uh, I dated it um, December 15th, 2018. It was on a Sabbath. And I had a pretty restless night that night. I got up early and I was trying to read and get into the Word and I was having one of those days that we all go through when we don't feel connected to God. And I repented and I apologized and I asked him, please God, like what have I done wrong and give me a message. I just didn't know what was going on. So I, I went back to bed and <clears throat> I had uh, two dreams and a vision on this day. So this is, let me, uh, let me try to do it as best I can. So... Basically, I I was with one of my siblings, and uh, we went to his house. And while I was there, I saw my sister-in-law. And she had chapped lips, very, very dry, and it looked very red, and it didn't look good. And she kind of looked like a zombie. And it was a very short dream. And I remember just kind of like vaguely getting up for a second, like, oh, what was that? And... Then I guess I fell back asleep. And then the second one, this is a really strange one. I was driving and I was on my way to a gym. And when I got there, I sat at a table at the entrance. And this huge bodybuilder who was sweating everywhere uh, starts coming toward me. And he reeked. So I told him, like, well, why, don't you put a, why don't you put your t-shirt on? You're dripping everywhere. And he looked at me, walked by, went into the change room. And very soon after, a manager came running up to me and told me that this guy was furious with me. Like, just furious. And that he wanted to fight me. And I, I thought that was kind of weird, so I, uh, I didn't do anything. And I witnessed him. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. As, as he was coming toward me, I put a mask on. And I pulled up my hoodie. And and then I, I took it off. And as the staff was pulling this guy away from me to kick him outside the gym, I yelled, tell the truth. And, and I ended it with, he wanted to fight me. And then that was the end of the second dream as I woke up from a phone call from my wife telling me that in real life, our vehicle got broken into. And I I talked to her for a minute and then I kind of put my head back on the pillow and I had a very snap open vision. It was the weirdest thing. I, I saw a mother and a baby in front of two cribs and the mother needed to acknowledge the baby and it ended. So... I don't really know what to make of this vision. I'm going to go ahead and decipher the first and the second dream. But the vision I'm going to leave up to open interpretation. So here's what I got on the first dream. I wrote siblings, which is in Ephesians 4.32. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God uh, forgave for Christ's sakes, hath forgiven you. I might have said that wrong. <laughs> Number two was house, Hebrews 3, 4. For every house is built, all things is God. Number three, I was looking for sister-in-law, so I found in-laws. A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. And that was a Proverbs 2, 9, 11. Uh, I was looking for chapped lips, but I ended up finding ashes in my mouth, which was a James... 516 therefore confess confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the power of the righteous person has great power as it is working number five was zombie which ended up being a revelation 25 but the rest of the dead lived not again the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection. 
And this was actually an answer to one of my prayers. I asked God, what is it? What is all this zombie stuff? You know, last few years, mu mu music and movies and names of bands. It was all about zombies. Well, that was my answer. So in the second dream, uh, I found driving with the ancient is wisdom and in length of days, understanding. And that was a Job 12.12. 12. Second word was Jim, which is a 1 Timothy 4.8. For bodily exercise profiteth little, but godly, godliness is profitable. Unto all things having promise of the life that now is, of which is to come. Number three was sitting on table, which was a Luke 14.8. When thou art hidden of any man to a wedding... Sit not down at the highest place of honor in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host. Number four was bodybuilder. I wrote 1 Timothy 4, 7. But refuse profane and old wives' fables and exercise thyself rather into godliness. I found sweating, which was Proverbs 14.23, In all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. Number six, I was looking for putting on your t-shirt, which ended up being clothing. Uh, Ephesians 4.22-24. Um, where did I start this? To your former manner of life that ye put off concerning the former conversations the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts and be renewed in the spirit of your mind that you be put on that new man which after god is created in righteousness and true holiness number seven was dripping everywhere is what i was looking for and i found a proverbs nineteen thirteen. A foolish son is his father's ruin, and a wife's nagging is an endless dripping. Number eight was mad at me, which was a Galatians 6 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which one has spiritual, restore such a, such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself least thou also be tempted, lest thou also be tempted. Number nine, I was looking for putting on a mask, and I did find mask, which was a Matthew seven fifteen. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are rever uh, revering wolves. Wearing a hoodie was a Deuteronomy twenty two eleven. Thou shalt not wear a garment of divers sorts, as of wooden and linen together. <clears throat> Number 11 is, I, I take it off, which is a Romans 6.6. 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Number 12, I tell the truth, which is a John 8.32. <clears throat> and, you, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Number 13, I was looking for he was taken out by staff, but the word I found was deceit, a 1 Peter 2.1. Therefore rid yourself of all malice and of all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. And this came to me really strong in my spirit as I was writing this. In spirit I heard, these things no longer matter anymore. Judgment is coming. Now I want to make a comment about this. In this dream I was seeing a bodybuilder, and he was really well built. But the message God said, that is a deceit. 
building yourself up, even building up your body. In the world, we're convinced that this is such an amazing thing to be fit and to look amazing, but it's all about envy. It's all about deceit. It's all about slander. None of it has anything to do with God. Anyway, moving on. 14, he wants to fight me, which is a 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept my faith. And again, I, I'm asking for the interpreters here on my list to help me with this. This vision is a complete, a complete confusion to me. Vision of a mother and a baby in front of a cribs. And the mother needed to acknowledge the baby. I'll be honest, I did not interpret that because I want to see if somebody else can because it's it kind of seems beyond me. All right, guys, I love you and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. I love you and Jesus loves you more. Take care, guys.